So what, what is the cause of hip pain? Well, the major cause of hip pain these days uh, is patients who have arthritis or osteoarthritis in the hip joint itself. Um, essentially, the joint is made up of uh, two bony surfaces and they're covered in substance called cartilage. And when patients have arthritis or osteoarthritis, uh, they get a narrowing of that cartilage, a wearing away of the cartilage, and they can get fissures or splits in the cartilage. Sometimes the cartilage can actually come off and you can get loose bodies which go inside the joint and, and can actually make the joint uh, lock. If we're presented with a patient who does have osteoarthritis uh, in the hip joint, uh, there are, we start off certainly with an assessment of the patient and this would be to take a full history of the pain, um, to a, do a targeted examination of the hip joint itself and then we may do um, investigations. The main ones would be an MRI scan or an X-ray of the hip joint uh, to come up with a diagnosis. Now, if, if we find that the patient has uh, osteoarthritis as the cause of their hip pain, there are a number of treatment options. Um, at, the, at the simple end, we're looking at painkillers, simple analgesic medications, so anti-inflammatory medications, uh, weak opioids, things like codeine, that sort of thing, uh, to try and improve the pain on the one end. And the other end, the more extreme end, you have surgical intervention. So uh, patients may have uh, the hip replaced, so so-called hip replacement surgery. And there's a variety of different types of uh, uh, hip replacement surgery available. Now somewhere in the middle, um, some patients have trouble uh, with their medications, the medications are effective, they've got a lot of adverse effects, side effects, um, but they're not quite there in needing uh, actual full surgical intervention. So what is there available? Um, well, uh, we can do what are called intra-articular hip joint injections. Uh, these tend to be done either under ultrasound or x-ray guidance. Uh, patients are done as day cases or outpatients, they literally walk in and walk out and have them done. The joint is identified uh, using x-ray or ultrasound and essentially a tiny little needle, it's all cleaned up, a tiny little needle is put down into the joint. Sometimes we inject a little bit of dye just to double check that we're in the right place and we'll aspirate or suck out to make sure that um, there's some joint fluid in there. And then we can uh, inject a variety of substances. Some practitioners will inject just local anaesthetic on its own. Uh, and that would be a diagnostic uh, injection just to see uh, if that is effective or not. Um, most practitioners will inject a combination of long-acting local anaesthetic along with a steroid preparation. We use uh, things like Depomedrone or Triamcinolone. Um, and there is another way to do it, which is the injection of what we call visco supplement, visco supplementation. And I'll be speaking about this on a further video. Um, in terms of the risks and benefits of all the intra-articular hip joint injections, which are, are going inside the hip joint itself, benefits pain relief, it takes about 10 to 14 days to work, sometimes less, sometimes more. Risks, failure, local bleeding, bruising, infection, discomfort, they're all fairly minimal.